It may be cold outside, but one team in particular has been on fire for Cyclone State, and that is the men's hockey team. This weekend, the squad looked to remain red hot as they welcomed the University of Minnesota Duluth to Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. The Husky wrestling team will kick off their NSIC season tonight as they welcome Southwest Minnesota State University to St. Cloud. And it may only be October for some, but the St. Cloud State alumni have their sights set on the Winter Olympics in February. The men's hockey team will look to continue their winning ways this weekend as they travel south to take on the University of Nebraska Omaha. This weekend will mark the first of two series meetings between the clubs this season, with the Huskies coming into the weekend ranked number two in the country. The Huskies split the two games with the Mavericks last year and are coming off a weekend sweep against Colorado College. The Cardinal and Black are led by top scorer Jimmy Schultz, who has 16 points uh, so far this season. Faceoff for Game 1 in Omaha is scheduled for 7 p.m. And I'm pleased to be joined now by Husky football play-by-play -play Hans Bristol. Hans, thanks for joining me tonight. Nick, thanks for having me. Talk a little bit football now. Of course, the football season coming to a close. Now, what has stood out to you about this team on both sides of the ball? The Husky men's hockey team will open up NCHC play this weekend against a familiar foe. I'm Nick Maxson, and I will have that story plus your full sports report coming up after the break. The Husky volleyball squad will look to turn things around this weekend with a pair of matches at Hollenbeck Hall. And tonight's leader of the pack, we tip our hats to the goalies on the men's hockey team. They helped the Huskies sweep Minnesota Duluth this past weekend, and we start off with Jeff Smith. The men's hockey team continues to look for their success, welcoming a familiar foe to St. Cloud State just this weekend. The men's basketball team will open NSIC play this weekend as they traveled to northern Minnesota to take on two familiar opponents. The alumni may be looking for Olympic gold, but the current Husky squad will be looking to continue their chase for their own hardware. The Husky football team will travel to the Iron Range tonight in hopes of bringing back their fourth win of the season and a dog bone. The rival battle for the bone game against the University of Minnesota Duluth tonight will mark the 50th meeting between the two clubs. A tradition that started back in 1933, head coach Scott Underwood believes that the team's recent confidence will be a key to taking down a familiar foe. It has a lot to do. It's a boxing match. You try to feel it out a little bit. Um, I think the, the, the key thing for us is that you know, now that we have some confidence, certainly uh, hopefully with our receiver core and our quarterback and, you know, and then certainly our running back crew is getting a little bit better. The 3-1 and one Huskies are looking for their first win over the Bulldogs since 2012, while the Bulldogs will be looking to keep the wooden bone in Duluth for the eighth time in 11 years. Kickoff for tonight's matchup is set for 7 p.m. The Huskies men's hockey team will look to continue their hot streak this weekend, while the basketball teams will hit the road to open up NSIC play. I'm Nick Maxson, and I will have your full sports report coming up after the break. The men's hockey team will look to continue their winning ways this weekend as they travel south to the University of Nebraska Omaha. This weekend will mark the first of two series meetings between the clubs this season, with the Huskies come into the weekend ranked number two in the country. The Huskies split the two games with the Mavericks last year and are coming off a weekend sweep against the Colorado College Tigers. The Cardinal and Black are led by top scorer Jimmy Schultz, who has 16 points on the season so far. Faceoff for Game 1 in Omaha is scheduled for 7 p.m.